Google Chrome Top Search Tips. I love to say that there's a good reason why to Google became a verb. And Google Chrome takes that one step further. If you're using Google Chrome as your default browser, it can speed up your work in lots of different ways. We discussed before that Chrome has many features, including customizable settings, tab management, and useful search functions. Today, we're going to look at five tips for search using Google Chrome. First up, search Drive files from your Omnibox. We previously covered how to add Google Drive to our searchable sites in settings. If you missed that, take a minute to go back and check out the settings video. Once added, you can now use the Omnibox to search for files in Google Drive without having to navigate to Google Drive in your browser. This does not mean that your Google files are exposed to others on the internet. It's instructing Google to look at your Google Drive when running the search. To that end, you can search documents you own and documents that have been shared with you as a viewer, commenter or editor. You can also search for folders in your drive or a shared drive folder. Next, use the Omnibox to get results from a single site. Say I'm researching developments in learning and remote work in Ireland, and I want to look at articles in a specific publication. Type site colon into the Omnibox and immediately follow with the site that I wish to review. Next, I'll add the keywords or words that I wish to search. And I'm adding parentheses as I want the specific term and no variations. Remaining on the Google search page, I can view a number of results from the journal that include the search term learning. We looked previously at site search within the Chrome settings panel. This could turn up similar results, but will redirect to the specified site. That's useful when you're confident the information you need is in that site, but if you are conducting exploratory research, remaining in Google allows us to engage side-by-side -side search. This handy little function allows me to explore a link in my search results while still having those search results available in a side panel. Select the search result you wish to view and Chrome will take you to that site. Upon reaching the site, a little Google icon appears in the Omnibox. Clicking on the icon will have your search appear in a side panel. This is a super fast way to review search options without having to open them all in separate tabs or to undertake the eternal click back to relocate your original search. Another way to supercharge your research, use the highlight and search function. Imagine you are reviewing one of your search results and you come across a reference that you are unfamiliar with or a phrase that sparks your interest. Highlight the text and right click. Use the search Google for option from the menu to quickly open a new tab and start a new search using the highlighted text. Have you found an interesting paragraph? Perhaps you have spotted a useful diagram and want to share it. Use the link to a highlight option. Highlight the element that you wish to share or save for later. Right click to access the menu and select copy link to highlight. Now, when you or your colleague access the link, it will locate the viewer on the correct website, but crucially at the relevant position on the web page. And the required passage will appear highlighted. So, a few tips this week, but now you're able to understand how to search drive through the Omnibox, get search results from a specific site, review results with search in side by side, highlight a passage and quick search for keywords, and finally, share highlighted information in a link. That's it for our Chrome tips this week. If you find them useful, do let us know and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with Tech Tip Thursday. And we'll see you next